Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the 50th anniversary celebration of the opening of what was then called the Japanese Cultural and Trade Center and is now popularly known as the Japan Center. We've been blessed by uh, atypical San Francisco weather and uh, let's take full advantage of it. Uh, I'm George Yamasaki and uh, I guess I'm here more based on longevity than anything else. Uh, I have the honor of having been involved with the developer of the center, National Braemar, which was at one time a dirty word here in Japantown. And uh, you can laugh if you want. Uh, we are enjoying the fruits of the labors of many people, uh, including the folks I formerly represented, National Braemar, and we are honoring them as well as all the other people who have followed and made Japantown what it is today. Uh, this morning, we are pleased to begin our program with three Nihonmachi artists who have been collaborating for a number of years. Please welcome Jenny Lim, Lenora Lee, and Melody Takata as they perform the Song of Nihonwachi. Hanami, Some Yoshino, Some Yoshino, blanketing the ground. Some Yoshino, Some Yoshino, falling, falling silently around. High in the branches, far as the eye can see, billowing white ume, floating in the breeze. Hanabira, Hanabira, petals of our youth, Hanabira, Hanabira, like tears of a virgin, the cherry blossoms fall as seasons come, as the seasons go, the cherry blossoms fall. Beneath the branches of the white ume lie the deep roots of the cherry tree. 
Long after the blossoms are gone, the branches of the tree remain. The branches of our tree always remain. They will wait for another spring, another summer, another fall, and another winter. They await the song of the shamisen and the taiko drummers and the dancing girls in their bright kimonos and fans and the children laughing and playing with the smells of barbecue, chicken, gyoza, and tempura burning on the grill. Don't mourn about the good old days. Don't cry about how it used to be. Don't mourn that it's all over. Though change has surely come, development is here, and the skyscrapers and condos continue to rise. The roots of our tree will always remain, yes. The roots of our tree will always sustain. Long after change will come, long after our community grows, long after the children disappear, the branches of our tree will surely remain. Yes, long sway the branches of the white ume in our names, in our names that will never be forgotten and the memories that will always sustain. Nihon Machi, Nihon Machi, our town, our town, J-Town.
Wapachi, our town. Let's have all three of the performers. Would you re return, please, to the uh, to center stage for a uh, final bow and a photo opportunity? <laughs> Song of Nihonmachi, featuring Jenny Lim, Lenora Lee, and Melody Takata. Thank you very much for a beautiful artistic opening to this 50th anniversary ceremony. I noticed public defender Jeff Adachi grooving to the beat, and perhaps next time he'll bring his guitar. <laughs> and now for a more conventional uh, set of opening remarks, I'd like to call on Richard Hashimoto, the president of the Japantown Merchants Association, and he hates it when I say this, but the mayor of Nihonmachi, Rich Hashimoto. Wow, thank you, George. Wow, what a, what a title. Um, thank you all for coming here today. I welcome everyone to the 50th anniversary of the Japan Center Malls. On behalf of the Japantown Merchants Association and the Japan Center East and West Malls, I want to thank you all again for being here to help us celebrate this auspicious occasion. Fifty years ago, the, Japan, the Japanese Cultural and Trade Center, more commonly known today as the Japan Center, rose from the dust of redevelopment the agency, or at the time it was a re urban renewal. And uh, at that time, it was to introduce Japanese culture to America and to introduce the arts and uh, traditional culture. At the time, the project was met with controversy and was heavily opposed by the community because it displaced many families and businesses that were uh, there to not only the livelihood, but to construct this uh, three block, three city block long uh, Japan Center. It was the first of a kind in the United States it included a 225-room hotel with deep Japanese sauna, a spa, bath, a hot springs. A, um, the hot springs had an onsen feeling to it, which again introducing Japanese culture to the people of the United States. Um, there was a theater, a performing arts theater that included uh, uh, special effects, uh, rain, wind, and all that and it was unheard of at the time. And unfortunately, it was sold off to development. And of course, the Peace Pagoda that we have here that's behind me, that was a gift from the people of Osaka in 1968. The Japan Center also housed Kikkoman International Headquarters, the offices of the Consulate General of Japan, the Japan External Trade Organization, which commonly known as JETRO, the first Datsun, or today is known as Nissan, the first dealership here in the United States as well. And of course, we had Hitachi and Sony showrooms. Of course, those are all gone now. And, you know, today it stands as a focal point and the very thread that holds our community together. Your support over the 50 years has led to this anniversary for which we are truly grateful. So on behalf of the Merchants Association and the Japan Center East and West Malls, thank you all for coming here today. Thank you. Thank you very much, Rich. Uh, and now I'd like to call on a very, very active member of the Japanese American community Alice Kawahatsu, past president of the Japantown Task Force and board member of the Konko Church of San Francisco, and that's just barely touching the surface. Uh, Alice will narrate the blessing ceremony.
Well, we brought the sun out, didn't we? We're all lights in this community. We are all ambassadors of this community. And I am so honored and so humbled to be able to uh, narrate and um, facilitate this blessing. Um, we are a small community, but we are mighty and powerful. And we couldn't do it without the many support from the people in our audience, people all over the world that come to visit our great center. And we hope that you will all be ambassadors and go out and bring your friends and relatives and tell the world where we are, what we've been through. Um, this blessing is important because of two reasons. Number one, just the way the world is these days, we need more peace. We need to center ourselves. We need to ask ourselves what's really important how to live our life. And the JARF, which is the Japanese American, history, uh, Japanese American Religious um, Federation, has been very instrumental in bringing us all together during difficult times, but also during very joyful times like today. Um, today is a time to look back on our history, but also to look forward to what we have planned for the future of our community. Um, we are blessed to have with us uh, today in the uh, ceremony, um, our head minister of the Kunko Church of San Francisco. Her name is Reverend Joanne Tolosa. Uh, then we also have uh, Reverend Masato Kawahatsu, who's the senior minister of the Kunko Church. And we also have uh, Reverend Grace Kaori Suzuki, and uh, she is the pastor of the Christ United Presbyterian Church and also the JARF treasurer. Uh, and then we also have Ronald Kobata. Reverend Ronald Kobata Sensei is a resident minister of the Buddhist Church of San Francisco. He's a past JARF president. So uh, with these four wonderful clergy who are representing the JARF organization, they will be conducting this ceremony. Uh, we will be having two very talented um, player musicians that will accompany this blessing. And they are already in place. Um, and then during the ceremony, we will be um, calling out um, and asking some very important officials of the city to come forward and offer a tamakashi branch. I brought one here so you can see it. It's very beautiful. Um, this tamakashi branch is very important because it symbolizes the working together of all people. So you'll see them clap four times together. That means the symbolic representation of working together. The white paper symbolizes your pure and sincere heart, which I'm sure everybody here today has. Um, and the green represents permanence or everlasting. And um, as we work towards helping our community to strive to become bigger and better um, economically, spiritually, and physically, um, this program um, of this blessing will symbolize that. So thank you again. We will now begin with the ceremony. Representatives, Japanese American Religious Federation.
highly symbolize uh, working together with the uh, divine parent, each one, each other, and spirits of those who have gone before us. Let us clap our hands four times. Please, if you want to join, please clap hands four times together. Main prayer for 50th anniversary of the Japanese Center by Head of Ocean. Dear Divine Parent of Heaven and Earth, Kamisama, as a representative of the Japanese American Religious Federation of San Francisco, JARF, and on behalf of all of us gathered here together from near, far, and in spirit on this beautiful spring day, please allow me to recite this main prayer to you to commemorate and celebrate the dedication ceremony and official opening of this Japan Center originally named Japanese Cultural and Trade Center, which took place in 1968, exactly 50 years ago to this day, March 28th. We are grateful for this opportunity to recognize this milestone of the heart of Japantown, both its physical heart in the Japan Center building structures, but more importantly, the spiritual heart of the pioneer business and community leaders and all the individuals and groups who make up Japantown's heart here in San Francisco, California, actually dating back to the 1906 earthquake era. Here before us with a towering iconic five-tiered peace pagoda in the Peace Plaza, designed by the late Japanese architect, Mr. Yoshiro Taniguchi, and gifted by the generous people of Osaka, Japan. We are forever reminded of the integral Eastern influence present here in the United States, the strong Japan-United States bond, and lasting friendship founded in peace. We pray for it to be an everlasting and unbreakable bond. Dear Divine Parent Kamisama, on this auspicious occasion, we pray for the eternal spiritual peace and happiness of all those countless dedicated individuals no longer with us in their physical form who contributed to Japan Center's success and this thriving, welcoming Japanese American community. We pray that you and all of them here with us in their spiritual form will accept the sacred wine and food offerings humbly placed on your altar as well as the sacred Tamaguchi Evergreen Branch offerings that dignitaries, community representatives, merchants, and I will offer as symbols of our collective sincere hearts of utmost gratitude for all your blessings and support. And we pray that you and all the ancestral community pioneers, including our late Mayor Joseph Aliotto, who spoke at this very location 50 years ago, will continue to guide us protect us and allow the Japan Center merchants, the surrounding Japan town community, and the entire Western edition, also called Lower Pacific Heights, to successively thrive economically, socially, spiritually, and in good health, sustaining the heart of Japan town here in San Francisco for many more years to come. We pray that both visitors and residents alike can finally embrace the Japan Center its unique shops that instantaneously transports us to Japan and its culture without taking a plane or bullet train. And may the beautiful Peace Pagoda and all that it symbolizes reside in all of our hearts for us to spread peace, kindness, friendship, mutual respect, mutual understanding, love, compassion, and harmony needed now more than ever in our present society and throughout the world. 
through the eternal mediation of our divine mediator, Ikigami Konko Daijin, the divine parent of heaven and earth, we deeply, deeply thank you. Purification, blessing light, let us bow our head to symbolically receive the blessing of the divine pair. Offering of Tamakshi Seku Evergreen Branch by Head of Shen. At this time, we will now have the offering of a Tatamakushi sacred branch uh, by our special guests. And I will call you up one by one. Each of you will come up and um, be handed a sacred Tamakushi branch and we'll offer it to the lower table here. Um, you, again, it represents the permanence, your sincere heart and working together. We would like to call up the uh, Honorable Council General of Japan, Tomochika Uyama. Mr. Phil Ginsburg, representing Mayor Mark Farrell.
now like to call up London Breed, President of the San Francisco Board of Supervisors and District 5 Supervisor. Mr. Jeff Adachi, Public Defender. Dr. Emily Marase, Commissioner of San Francisco School Board and Director of Commission on the Status of Women. Naomi Kelly, Chief Administrative Officer. Mr. Richard Hashimoto, President of the Japantown Merchants Association. Kathleen Kimura, co-chair Osaka City, Osaka Sister City representative. Robert Sakai, Vice President, Japantown Community Benefit District. Mr. Ed Riskin, Executive Director, Municipal Transportation Agency. Mr. Dennis Kern, Operations Director, Recreation and Park Department.
Mr. Mohamed Nuru, Director, Department of Public Works. We'll now continue um, a short blessing by Reverend Kobata of the Buddhist San Francisco Buddhist Church. If I could ask you all to join together in mindfulness as we meditate on the significance of this special celebration. 80 years ago, the King of Siam, now Thailand, entrusted relics of Shakyamuni Buddha and two major disciples to the Buddhist Church of America, the parent organization of the Buddhist Church of San Francisco, and the BCA membership constructed a stupa, or reliquary, the prototype for what's referred to today as a pagoda on the church of the roof to enshrine the relics. The pagoda has come to symbolize the spirit of peace, harmony, and reverence. 50 years ago, San Francisco's sister city in Osaka, Japan, presented the pagoda that we are in the shadow of today as a symbol of the goodwill and cooperation 20 years after the conclusion of World War II. Around the same time, the congregations that comprise the Japanese American Religious Federation collaborated with federal, state, and county agencies to build affordable, low-income housing for seniors and residents who were displaced due to urban renewal. Community activists from Bay Area colleges and universities began grassroots organizations to help maintain a community spirit in response to the changing face of Japantown. So reflecting on the dramatic changes since the stupa and pagoda were built in Japantown and the ensuing evacuations of its residents during World War II and the dispersal of urban renewal and the econ economic changes dramatically impacting our community, let us take this occasion to reaffirm the meaning of being designated as a community benefit district and the dedication and determination of the Japan ta Task Force that is conveyed in this children's recitation. I am a piece in the Buddha's golden puzzle of love and light that connects the world. I must keep my peace bright and strong I will try to think clear and helpful thoughts, speak clear and helpful words, and do kind and helpful deeds, knowing that on what I do now depends not only my happiness or unhappiness, but also that of others. May every piece in the Buddha's golden love puzzle of love and light become bright and strong. And may we forevermore attain perfect peace. Namo Amida Buts, Namo Amida Buts, Namo Amida Buts, Namo Amida Buts. We'll now have Reverend Grace Kaudi Suzuki, pastor of the Christ United Presbyterian Church, JARF treasurer. She will uh, do the, uh, she will recite the uh, closing prayer. Would you please bow your heads with me? God, our maker, creator, and sustainer, we give thanks that on this beautiful day, we are able to celebrate the 50th anniversary of San Francisco's Japan Center. 
We give thanks that you have helped this community maintain its presence in this city, trying to preserve the Japanese and Japanese American culture and providing an oasis to those who seek respite within its bounds. We give thanks for those who have gone before us, who gave tirelessly of their time and passion for this cause. And we also give thanks for those among us today who continue that legacy and vision. As we cast our vision to the future, O oh God, we asked for your continued strength and guidance so that the presence of San Francisco's Japan Center may continue to provide unique cultural and educational histories of the Japanese and Japanese American people, nurture places of hospitality and entertainment, and offer a sense of special community to those who live here and to those who visit from all around the world. Help us who are currently a part of this community, O oh God, to work together in unity and peace within our diversities so that we may achieve these things with pride and joy. As we approach the season of rebirth, help us to remember that through our faith and our willingness to work together, new and amazing things could happen, even when we may not be able to see them right away. We pray these things in the name of the one who promises to make all things new. Amen. Thank you very much to um, the JARF representatives today um, for giving us time to relax a little bit, to enjoy the sunshine, but also to feel Japantown in our hearts. That's really important. Um, so uh, continue, JARF representatives and JARF members, to instill us with your wisdom and your prayers. Um, thank you very much. I also wanted to acknowledge the two musicians here, Reverend Suenaga uh, and Mr. Bernie Tom. Thank you. I'll turn you back to our master ceremony, George Yamasaki. Thank you very much, Alice. Uh, and now uh, we enter the most precarious portion of the program from the standpoint of the MC, uh, and that is the to single out some of you in the audience for personal introduction. Uh, everyone here uh, is a participant in a historic event, the 50th anniversary of the opening of the Japan Center. But uh, arbitrarily, you might say, uh, some of you have been selected for individual uh, notoriety. Uh, the staff of the Council General who are here, 
uh, Consulate General, Consul Kamono, and may I ask that you uh, hold your applause until I have completed the entire list, uh, not only of the staff of the Consul General, but the complete listing. Uh, Consul Kamono, Vice Consul Nomura, Ai Hiyama, Kevin O'Donnell, that's a great Japanese name, uh, Yuichi Yamakawa, the president of Kintetsu Enterprises Company of America, and his longtime associate and an old friend of Japantown, Colin Gomez. Where are you, Colin? You've disappeared. There he is, right up there. Uh, Masano, oh, excuse me. Misaki Miki, the retired president of Kikoman USA. Misako Maki Sak, the executive director of the Osaka Sister City Association. Atsushi Yamakoshi, executive director of Keidanren USA, who has journeyed here from Washington, D.C., where he is headquartered. Jerry Ono of the Union Bank, and may I add that uh, Union Bank's predecessor, the Bank of Tokyo of California, uh, was and continues to be an owner of the Japan Center. Uh, there's a unique condominium arrangement here in the center, and the Union Bank owns the space it occupies. Uh, Alan Okamoto, President, Sakura Matsuri, Inc. Kelly Wong, API Council. Kathy Nelson, Kabuki Springs and Spa, which is the very first Japantown legacy business designated by the Historic Preservation Commission and the Small Business Commission as a legacy San Francisco business. And uh, thanks to Fire Commissioner Steve Nakajo, we have a phalanx of volunteers from the fire department uh, from Station 38 on California Street and from Station 5 on Turk Street. First voice, the outstanding Japanese American performers Brenda Wong, Aoki, and Mark Izu. Steve Ishii, Executive Director of Kimochi. Paul Osaki, Executive Director of the Japanese Cultural and Community Center of Northern California, now known as The Center. Rosalind Tonai, the Executive Director of the National Japanese American Historical Society. Moneta White, businesswoman. Uh, city commissioners, Steve Nakajo and Francie Covington from the Fire Commission. Diane Matsuda from the Historic Preservation Commission. City officials from the Office of Economic and Workforce Development, Joaquin Torres, Diana Ponce de Leon, Chris Corgus, Tom Smith of the Department of Public Works, Rob Malone of the Municipal Transportation Agency, from the San Francisco Police Department Northern Station, Captain Joe Engler, and our own Japantown police officers, Yuka Nagamine and Clifford Burkhart. Junko Nakagawa, the executive director of the Japanese Chamber of Commerce of Northern California. Patty Wada from the National Japanese American Citizens League. And Norio Nakagawa, the CEO of JETRO, the Japanese External Trade Organization here in San Francisco. And now please, a big round of applause for all of them and all of you.
for being part of this celebration. Thank you very much. I'm amazed that's the first time that uh, we've successfully done that. <laughs> and, and now, it's, it's my honor to welcome uh, for remarks the Consul General of Japan in San Francisco. We note that in 1968, the opening of the Japan Center presented the opportunity for Japanese businesses to come to the San Francisco market on a large scale, and uh, they have done so, spreading the culture of Japan, both modern and contemporary. And now, as a representative of Japan, we are pleased to welcome the Honorable Tomochika Uyama, the Consul General of Japan in San Francisco. Mr. Consul General. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tomochika Uyama. I'm, I'm the new Consul General of Japan in San Francisco. I just arrived one month ago. I'm very pleased to be here today commemorating the 50th anniversary of the Japan Center. First of all, I'd like to recognize both the supervisors, President London Breed and San Francisco Recreation Parks General Manager Phil Ginsburg for their presence here today. And Sam, uh, Phil Ginsburg represents the uh, mayor of San Francisco. Municipal support is a key component uh, in the successful preservation of cultural com communities. So I'm very grateful to see their active involvement. I'd also like to express my sincere gratitude to Adam Strauss and the Japan Center 5th Anniversary Planning Committee members, including Richard Hashimoto and George uh, Yamasaki and others. I know it is a lot of work, but I do not need to tell you how important it is for us to highlight Japan Town businesses in the center who are the engine of the historic community. The Japan Center and Peace Plaza are wonderful examples of how modernity can supplement the historic landscape. It is a unique and historic building in and of itself since it is already 50 years old. Looking into a new era, my office is a proud supporter of this place and what it stands for, and we're looking forward to what the future holds. Japan Town is significant not only in its physical existence, but even more importantly, the people themselves, all of you. I want to sincerely thank all of the individuals who have spent years upon years and decades upon decades working to maintain the bonds of friendship and community in Japan Town. I understand what we have a larger event to take place this fall to commemorate this occasion with a little more flair, so we are looking forward, forward to it. Thank you so much once again for your steadfast commitment and dedication to Japan Town. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Council General. Uh, now I would like to uh, read a message from Franklin M. Tokioka of Honolulu. Uh, Franklin's family was indispensable to the creation of the Japan Center. Uh, now these are the words of Frank Tokioka. Thank you for inviting me to participate in this celebration of the 50th anniversary of the Japanese Cultural and Trade Center, now known as the Japan Center. I regret that circumstances preclude my attendance, and I respectfully ask that my absence be forgiven. I'm proud to confirm that my father, the late Masayuki Tokioka, and our family played an integral role in the development of what has become a well-established and thriving complex. In the late 1950s, M. Justin Herman, executive director of the San Francisco 
Redevelopment Agency conceived a grand scheme of ethnic, cultural, and trade centers throughout the city. Accordingly, he approached my father, a Honolulu business leader, regarding the creation of a Japanese center. My father was delighted and agreed to bring together the people and resources that made this center possible as he was eager that the rich culture of Japan be shared with the greater community. It should be remembered that following the Second World War, strict restrictions on the movement of capital out of Japan were in effect. In 1962, the California Corporation National Raymar Inc. that my father formed expressly for this project obtained the requisite government permission for investment by Kintetsu Enterprises Company of America, a subsidiary of Kinki Nippon Railways, and Meitetsu, a subsidiary of Nagoya Railways. There followed feverish activity relating to the center in both Japan and San Francisco. Taizo Ishizaka of Toshiba, the president of the powerful Japanese Federation of Economic Organizations, known as Keidanren, assumed the role of chairman of the Peace Pagoda Construction Committee. Mr. Ishizaka himself came to San Francisco to participate in the 1968 opening ceremony. It's my understanding that Atsushi Yamakoshi, executive director of Keidanren USA, based in Washington, D.C., is attending today's anniversary event. I extend my personal greetings to him. The Consulate General of Japan in San Francisco occupied offices at the east end of the center, and the then Japanese ambassador to the United States, Takeso Shimoda, was one of the many distinguished participants in the opening ceremony. Also present was the eminent architect, Professor Yoshiro Taniguchi, who designed the Peace Pagoda that deservedly has become a San Francisco icon. March 28, 1968 was a great day for San Francisco. I salute the Danishkar family, as well as all of the organizers of this celebration for thoughtfully marking the 50th anniversary of the center's opening ceremony, and I wish the Japan Center and everyone connected with it continued success through the years to come. Mahalo and aloha. In behalf of Frank, thank you very much. Uh, and now it's my pleasure and honor to call upon the president of the Board of Supervisors of the City and County of San Francisco and Japantown's own District 5 Supervisor, London Breed. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to San Francisco Council General Ungyamaya. Thank you so much for being here, everyone here today on this beautiful day celebrating 50 years of Japantown. And when I think about 50 years, I think about growing up in this neighborhood right down the street and how much time as a kid I spent here illegally crossing that street over there to get to Japantown. Up and down the mall, at Japantown Bowl, playing video games, hanging out in this community, a thriving community full of rich history, full of culture. And so when I became the a uh, member of the Board of Supervisors to represent this community, I knew exactly what my responsibility was. And we did it together. We started the first cultural district in San Francisco, and now everyone else is trying to start a cultural district. Working with each and every one of you, we accomplished that goal for Japantown, and I'm so proud to have been a part of that effort. We've We finally got approved the Community Business District, 
which has been an amazing addition, again, to generating revenue necessary to protect Japan Town and to make sure that it is a thriving community with the resources it needs to continue. We've added beat officers. Thank you, Captain Engler, for being here from Northern Police Station and the members of Northern Police Station who patrol this area every single day. We think about the Cherry Blossom Festival and the work that's been done here and the work that is still yet to be completed. Last year, I was here when you honored me and you honored Mayor Ed Lee. We had an amazing ceremony, one where we talked about many of these accomplishments and the work that has been done to make Japantown such a great community. We did this work together and Mayor Lee was a major supporter of everything that I wanted to do to support this community. In fact, we have still one very important thing to do that he had committed to and I am very determined to accomplish. Not only will we make sure that we landmark the pagoda, but more importantly, we will do what's necessary to design this plaza in a way that it is protected for generations to come. We know that it will take money, we know that it will take drive, but if we have learned nothing else, together we can accomplish anything. This is such an amazing community, and it's made amazing because each and every one of you play an important role in continuing to host events and festivals and support Niamachi Little Friends, support Komochi and the senior programs that feeds our seniors in this community. All of those things combined is what makes for such an amazing community and amazing tribute to celebrate 50 years, 50 years of being a part of San Francisco, 50 years of our sister city relationship with Osaki, 50 years of this fountain being a center point for the Japanese community here in San Francisco to let everyone know as a rich and diverse city full with life and culture Japantown and the Japanese community continues to thrive in San Francisco. Thank you all so much for being here today. It is just an honor to be your representative on the Board of Supervisors, and I'm looking forward to celebrating 50 more years to come. Thank you. Thank you very much, President Breed. Uh, now I'd like to call on the Vice President of the San Francisco Recreation and Parks Commission, Alan Lowe. This is a great day. Um, the Japan Center and I actually share the same birthday. And um, I'm just a little bit older than 50, but uh, we share the same birthday. And uh, we both also share a lot of memories, whether it's coming to the Nihomachi Street Fair and listening to Pulse at Peace Plaza for free, uh, to eating Spam Musi Musubi at Maze, to sometimes ending up at uh, Sapporo Ya after a night at Kanzaki's. We all have memories of Japan Center, and those memories are this is the meeting place, the gathering place for Japantown. And, you know, while we're, while Japan Center is 50, um, 50 plus, there are things that don't work right with, between two of us. And you heard the president of the Board of Supervisors, what London says, we have to get done. Let's both do a makeover of Peace Plaza. And we're gonna get it done, right, Phil? He said right. And uh, we're going to get it done. And I just want to say on behalf of the Recreation and Park Commission, happy birthday, Japan Center. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I was, I was trying to get uh, Brenda's attention. Would you come up here? Brenda Wong Aoki. Uh, Uh, I, may, I may be uh, drawn and quartered for this, but um, since it's not on the program, and we just found out that it's uh, C Commissioner Lowe's birthday, Brenna, would you lead us in, 
singing happy birthday to Alan Lowe. Happy birthday, dear Alan. Your key. <laughs> All right, everybody, are we ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Alan. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. We don't want to pay your usual fee. <laughs> uh, now I'd like to call on the general manager of uh, the San Francisco Rec and Park Department, uh, who just gave us a thumbs up on the renovation of the Peace Plaza, uh, Phil Ginsburg. So I was going to sing happy birthday to Alan. <laughs> uh, good afternoon, everybody. It is a, a real honor to, to be here. Um, today, we, we really we celebrate place. And that's what our parks and plazas are all about. Um, creating place helps us connect our past to our present and our present to our future. And so today, we're doing a lot of things. And as Supervisor Breed noted and, and Commissioner Lowe noted, um, we are celebrating our, our past. Um, 50 years ago, um, through the gift of the city of Osaka, this iconic plaza um, was born. And it's been celebrating peace and community ever, ever since. And it has been a place where people have crossed the street illegally uh, on their way into Japantown. And it has been a place it's been the entry point for spam and bowling and all kinds of really wonderful memories. Parks create, parks and plazas create place. Today we enjoy its, its present. Look how vibrant and, and it is today and what a beautiful day it is. And we also think about our future. And as uh, Supervisor Breed noted and as Vice President Lowe noted and as everybody here has such a vested um, well-intended interest in it is time to think about this plaza and what it should be in 2068 when we're back to celebrate uh, the Pagodas and Japantown Centennial. So today um, I'm very proud on behalf of the Recreation and, and Park Department uh, to honor uh, the Japanese American community's cultural heritage both here in the Japanese Tea Garden in the hundreds of cherry blossoms that that uh, are such an integral part of our park system and to honor past, present, and future. And I do want to single out former Commissioner Jeff Morey, who is here, uh, upon whom, uh, I don't know, I lost him. Where is he? I saw him a little while ago. But former Rec and Park Commissioner Jeff Morey, who was such a strong advocate for creating open space and community uh, here, uh, and our birthday boy, our current Commissioner, Vice President, Alan Lowe. So, um, I'd also like to take a second to recognize the Recreation and Park staff who, who help keep this plaza clean and safe. Our Operations Director, Denny Kern, uh, our Park Service Area Manager, Steve Szymowski, uh, his Supervisor, Jenny Satello. We have a number of park rangers here uh, and uh, uh, one of my favorite Rec and Park Department employees, a uh, Japanese-American community hero, Elton Pond, who is responsible for all of our department's uh, graphics and communications. It is a joy to be here, uh, and it's wonderful to celebrate this important milestone in community with all of you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Phil. Uh, and now it is really a huge honor and pleasure to call to the uh, podium Mr. Joseph Daneshkar from 3D Investments, the owners of the East and West Japan Center Malls. Welcome and thank you all for coming today to celebrate San Francisco, Japantown uh, and its wonderful legacy. My name is Joseph Danishgar. I'm one of the owners of the Japan West and East malls. And I'm honored to be here as a representative of our tenants 
in this historic occasion. I'd like to share something personal with you. Uh, in my late 20s, when I was the head of a software company in a new field of technology called artificial intelligence and expert systems, my company was focused on how fast we could find a route to benefit from this advanced technology for financial success. And it so happened that I was fortunate enough to meet um, some of my counterparts who were Japanese and Japanese American. And I was fascinated that their focus, contrary to ours, was on how best they could find the approach to use this new technology patiently and selflessly for the benefit of future gener generations to come. I realized how honorable this fundamental difference was and became eager to be somehow more closely connected to them, which is the reason why I'm standing in front of you today. Your culture of deep honor respect and kindness, as well as your diligent work ethics, continuously humbles my wife and I and, inspi and inspires my three children, honestly, each and every day. I would like to take this opportunity to thank a few people who have made this ceremony possible. First, let me thank Richard Hashimoto, the Japantown Merchant Association, um, Association and San Francisco Rec and Park for partnering with the East and West Mall to host this celebration. I would also like to thank the clergy who performed a lovely blessing, Japanese Council General Tomochika Uyama, the supervisor London Breed, even though you crossed illegally over this road many, many times. Um, and uh, Park and Rec General Manager Phil Ginsburg for being part of today's ceremony, as well as the many other organizations that participated in its planning. Sandy Mori, Steve Nakaja, Don Tomaki, that unfortunately said he couldn't be here today, Richard, Rich Hashimoto, uh, Alan Okamoto, Jeff Adachi, thank you for your friendship throughout the years. To the late Bob Hamaguchi, may God bless your soul. We remember, we remember you for all the good you have done for this community. Thank you all for coming and joining us on this beautiful San Francisco day to honor one of the San Francisco oldest and most cherished communities. I have great appreciation for San Francisco Japantown and for its community who has had to endure many challenges throughout the years. And I have the greatest respect for a community that has been through so much, yet still holds strong to its values, traditions, and culture. As a property owner, my family is proud to be part of the San Francisco Japantown community and looks forward to continue to help preserve its unique character, cultural traditions, and history. 
so that it may be a vibrant cultural community for future generations. Thank you all very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Danishkar. And now to wrap things up, uh, I'll call the mayor back. <laughs> Rich Hashimoto. Thank you again, George. Um, I'm going to just uh, recognize George Yamasaki Jr. Not only is he participating and helping us with the celebration today, but he's been the voice of Cherry Blossom Festival for the past, what, 50 years as well? Uh, and on behalf of that, and he's, he's been a true champion through all of this, um, the Merchants Association and uh, the Northern California Cherry Blossom Festival would like to give you this award. And uh, George, let me see. On behalf of the Japantown Merchants Association and the Northern California Cherry Blossom Festival expresses its most sincere appreciation to George Yamasaki Jr. for his selfless, selfless commitment to San Francisco's historic Japantown community. Thank you, George. Thank you. Oh, thank you. All right. Thanks very much, Richard. Uh, this complete. This is a complete surprise, and I, I I'm overwhelmed. Well, but I want to know: is this going to give me free parking in the garage? <laughs> well, you have to talk to Mr. Ed Riskin about that. Okay. Um, thank you again, everybody, for coming to today's ceremony. Uh, on behalf of the Merchants Association, really. I'm heartfelt and really do, I'm really grateful to all of you.